Hi guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. Today we're going to check out a new product, uh, not being sponsored or anything, that my wife was able to find at Barnes and Nobles of all places. So if uh, you guys like it, well, I'll try to find the link, see if they sell it uh, online, and I'll link it in the description below. Let's get started checking it out. Okay, so the product is comes in a little container like this. This one in particular is a lavender uh, kit for growing. It is a self-watering container, um, non-GMO seeds it says right on it, made in the USA. And this was something she found at Barnes & Noble in person when she was there and it was on sale, so she wanted to check it out. She got a lavender one and also a poppy one. Uh, but we're going to get started with the lavender. For any of you guys who have tried to grow lavender from seed before, I find it to be very difficult myself. Uh, generally, that's one that I, I usually will be honest, I usually buy transplants for our lavender. Um, but I thought this was a really cool kit. So inside the kit comes with two plastic four inch um, plastic containers. Okay. Comes with this little plastic stand, looks like. Uh, one that you'd find on the inside of a pizza box to hold the cardboard away from the cheese. Pretty neat. It comes with the actual seeds. This is a English lavender variety. There we go. And comes with the instructions, which we'll get into how to, what they say there. So it comes with activated carbon, which I thought was a little interesting. Um, you know, something I see used in fish tanks a lot, not necessarily in gardening too much. Also comes with some plant fertilizer. Now this particular fertilizer says right on it, 16, 8, 25. And for those, and what I like about that is for those of you, us, or those of you who don't know, you know, what that, those three numbers are, it tells you right on the back. So it's 16% nitrogen, uh, 25% or sorry the 8 is the phosphate and the 25% is potassium so or potash as they call it so um, both the nitrates and phosphates can be found in your aquarium water for those of you who use a fish hobby and potash or potassium uh, can usually be found just from ashes from a fire pit. You can actually use those in your garden for potassium. So uh, it's a nice that it comes with that little fertilizer and it even gives you the instructions on when to fertilize these. Um, it comes with this. This is a piece of cloth, a um, couple inches long here. And this is what they use for the wick, for the self-wicking part. And I'll get into that too. Uh, they kind of give you a bag of potting mix. This feels like a very loose, airy mix, which is nice. Uh, great for seed starting. Um, so that is a nice mixture of soil. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't say necessarily what that mixture of soil is made up as, um, but that's okay. So <clears throat> the idea behind it, and I'll see if I can get this picture to so focus there. You can see the bottom cup there is the soaking cup full of water. The string that we just showed you is what where the wicking comes from. It goes up that. The top one is where your soil resides in your seeds. And there you go. So that's how this function works. And then that piece, the white piece, was your stand to hold the one above the other. So pretty neat concept. And so the instructions here tell us to cut a hole in one of these, just an X to put the wick through. Uh, pour three quarter cups of water into the tray. I like that it actually gives you the measurements on how much of, of these that it needs. Pour a quarter cup of water into the soil on the top cup and plant your seeds, sprinkle half of the seeds and push them in just below the surface. Keep it in a warm and sunny window anywhere between 55 and 70 degrees. 
And when the sprouts surface, remove the plant tray and, and pour out the water. Then you mix one cup of water with a quarter tablespoon of the plant food that they give you the fertilizer. And then you water that in through the top and let it drain into the bottom cup. And then occasionally, uh, every couple of days, check that and see if you need to repeat that step. So, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up and I'll show you what that looks like after it's been set up. Okay, so I was cutting this and I accidentally sliced the side there. I think it'll be okay. Uh, I think it'll still hold soil just fine. It's one thing I can say I wish this product had was actually pre-did the slit for you so you didn't have to try to fight with this cup to do it yourself. Uh, but that's okay. I still think we'll do it. Uh, be okay with it. So let me get the rest of this going and I'll show you how it's going. Okay, so we've got our wick in, our growing medium in there, our wick down. So not, it says to bury it completely, make sure it's not exposed. Um, looks like there's a lot less soil in here than in the pitcher, but that's okay. That's everything that it came with. So let's get the water in the base. And then you actually, and the seeds planted, and then you actually put it back inside this container, which is kind of cool just to keep it upright. And um, the carbon, actually, after you pour the water in here, that's when you pour the car activated carbon in here. So I'm not sure what that's going to do, except for maybe activated carbon draws a lot of disease and things like that away from the plant. So I think the carbon's probably... Uh, mainly to keep mold and things like that off of it. So pretty cool. Uh, let me get the water in here. Okay, we've got our three-quarter cup of water. And now we've got this one here. I'm going to go ahead and set it in to our water. And then you pour a quarter cup of water over the soil. Okay, now that's done, and now we plant our seeds. Okay, so you are supposed to do the activated carbon, sprinkle that on there, which I did. Kind of hard to see, but they look like these little black things. Well, then you plant the lavender seeds, which are black, so, and you're supposed to tuck them in there. So, really difficult to see what the lavender seeds are compared to the activated carbon. So how are you supposed to push it all in? A little strange. All right, I've got some seeds in there. I've got the water in there, it's wicking. I'm going to attempt to put it in back in this can. Okay, so just as a tip guys, make sure you put the water uh, cup with the stand inside of your, what they call a wax planter is what it's called on the instructions doesn't really give you that tip in the instructions unfortunately but I did have the water in it first and tried to put it in here and I could not get it in there effectively so uh, put it in there first then take your three quarters cup of water pour it down in there so that way you have your water cup and then take your wick and seeds and your carbon that you already did up and then you can easily set that resting it on top of there and it also helps because the platform is a lot more stable and a lot easier to balance it so uh, there you have it guys that is it we'll see how this goes um, it does give some nice guidelines on what you can expect here it says that this particular one's sprout time is 15 to 21 days um, in about three to four months before they bloom so it is going to take almost uh, almost a month before we start seeing results on this. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This is actually by a company called Modern Sprout. Um, never used them in the past, but uh, very neat concept, very neat design. And I think uh, that this will be a really cool indoor grow kit for those of you guys who like to grow herbs and things indoors. Uh, it does actually get into transplanting as well for in the instructions um, after they're about an inch tall and how to transplant. Um, 
So it definitely is something that you can do and gives you some nice instructions on there. So if you guys uh, want to check those out, like I said, I'll try to leave a link in the description below and uh, follow up, following up on the activated carbon. So it does in fact uh, help prevent mold disease, uh, repels insects. It also absorbs excess water. So that's part of the reason in the self wicking container that they provide that activated carbon. So it's, uh, it's actually great if you are a avid house planter, activated carbon is something you can pick up at a local fish store or something like that, maybe a PetSmart. Um, so if you guys are looking to help your plants long term, activated carbon or activated charcoal as they call it can go a long way for your plants. So pretty neat concept that they include with this. So they really did try to think of everything it seems. Um, as always guys, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens. Thanks for watching.